This is a horror game podcast. It is meant for mature audiences. It may contain shocking revelations, violence, and sexual themes. Viewer discretion is advised. Greetings, fellow investigators, and welcome back to our video podcast, Into the Darkness, where my friend Snyder playing the Delta Green role-playing game. I'm your host, Tom Rayleigh. The scenario is entitled Like a Map Made of Skin. It was written by Dennis Detweiler, and it's part of Impossible Landscapes. It's available from Art Dream Publishing. Our handler is Nathan Decker, and this is episode eight. Our recap, in fact, will be given by Nathan Decker as Agent Vega, otherwise known as Michael Whitworth. So, without any further delays, let's continue our journey into the darkness. Nathan? There is a stage lit by a single spotlight, and you see Agent Whitwer walk up to it, lit cigarette. He looks tired, wearing a tux. Starts to talk. I'm, uh, I'm still considering the choice but I put the vial back in my pocket, look up, and there are these damn agents again. I found myself swept up in their madness once more. They're so sure the labyrinth is in the basement this time, but I know Mr. Wild won't let me go unless I help him, so off we go. <laughs> Mrs. Lozette gave me a cup of tea as we're walking through the employee quarters. Vulture tried to take a sip, but I said, uh-uh, we don't have time for arsenic poisoning. <laughs> we did find the laundry chute. Every time I look at that thing, I think some gas mask freaks are going to come down it, but they haven't found it yet. <laughs> Crawling through a tunnel in the washer, I take a wrong turn, end up back in the trunk of the rental, drifting down the highway. <laughs> I'm trying to get a nap, but Nancy keeps waking me up with her ramblings. I drift off about the 15th time she flips the car. <laughs> Mark wakes me out of the truck, says the group is doing some herbology lessons and I should pay attention to Agent Grape's explanation. We're back in the Arboretum, and he gives me a vial with a bug and a tooth in it. I say I've already got one, and then I realize I don't. Mark says I'll have to choose eventually, bug or tooth. Looks like Agent Grape is firmly in the bug camp. I leave with the others after Agent Dentist breaks his own legs with a pickaxe. Well, he'll catch up later. Uh, strange thing, though, down the tunnel, I, I see the sommelier leading Nancy. I, I wonder if she even recognizes her father's arm, but she's got that look. She found her bottle. I know what it's like. I know that look, but I don't know what it's like. I ask her, hey, look for a whim wet relics bottle in the labyrinth, but she just glares at me. By the time I realize I'm getting all jumbled up, she's, she's gone. Michael Whitworth is what I meant. It's what I meant. I catch up with the rest of them, and I see the agents are waiting for Asa to finish up this weird hallway full of mannequins. While we wait, I have a nice chat with Cindy, although she seems nervous for some goddamn reason. I get a bad feeling for her, but I don't have time to warn her before Agent Don uh, Donkey is down the hallway, crawling between these mannequins. Cindy goes to see if she can help, but Donkey shoots her in the head through a door tough to see. Reminds me of Ophelia. It's, uh, I don't want to think about it too hard. Then I feel the air. That cool air of the labyrinth. It's close. I don't know if I could bring myself to go back in again. I feel in my pocket for the vial, but it's long gone. Maybe I don't have a choice after all. Tooth or bug. Maybe I never did. <laughs> he walks out of the spotlight. And we're going to fade up in the crew. Donnelly, you are in this room. You're kind of getting a, a feel for it, looking out the hole into the hallway with the other agents. Uh, behind you, there is a bathtub filled to the brim with water, a small body floating in it. Further in in this hotel room, a crack in the wall that looks like you could crawl through it. In front of you, a hallway full of 
crumpled mannequins, one of them missing uh, a good chunk of their head, thanks to you. And Agent Dent, you have a bottle labeled Cindy Ellsworth. Yeah, gotta keep this safe. This is my daughter's. But I do see the way forward. That crack in the wall should lead to the labyrinth. We should. Person said. Person only only tells the truth. So. I'm going to flip the uh, body over that's floating in the tub. Okay. Who is it? What is it? You go up and touch the body. And the others, you don't <laughs> notice anything. Agent Donnelly, you are underwater and immediately it's like that flush of underwater and you can feel like hands on the back of your neck pushing you underwater and holding you there. And your your like face is clearing and you can see you're like there's an ocean underneath you. The water goes on forever and there's something swimming down there but you're struggling to breathe what do you do uh can i pull back can i pull back up is it am i swimming in the water or you're like something's holding you under there if you want to make a strength check yeah <laughs> uh no <sighs> Yeah, it's you're getting pushed <clears throat> further and you can definitely now feel like the skin uh, on these hands is not moving like it's it's actually kind of like you can feel the skin under it moving. They're loose and clammy and you're you're running out of air. If it's pushing me down. Do we I don't know if I could go with it. <laughs> and hope for the best. <clears throat> Cause I can't struggle. I, I don't seem to be able to break the break it. Uh you can try again. It's gonna be a little tougher. And you're running out of air, so you're gonna start taking damage basically. Uh, nope. <laughs> yep. So take a D4 as you are like the air is going out of you. Two. Okay. The others right now, you saw Donley <clears throat> go over and touch the body, and he just stopped. The his hands are just touching this small child's body. Uh, I'm gonna. I guess. Yeah, call out to him, Donley. Is he responding? There's no response. I'm going to push him. I was going to do that too. If, it, uh, then which direction? Yeah. yeah. Away from the bathtub. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> As I like, put both push him away from the body. Okay. Yeah. You are able to, at this point, see and pull him away. And Donley, you're back in the room kind of with a flash. And uh, roll a d4 for me. That's a four. Okay. You will be spending the next four rounds just throwing up lungfuls of water, hair, and sand on the floor and roll a D6 of, uh, or sorry, roll a sanity roll. It's a one, okay. one D6. No, and I took a three. Yeah. How many is your bonds? Yeah, you got me as a bond, <laughs> and we never, well, I think we never that actually saw him go into the tub, yeah. so we don't know where the water and the sand and the that's true. Yeah, it's very from, strange coming from him. No. Yeah, I just say for it's for four rounds worth. So how what how many how long is it? It's about twenty for? seconds. Like he's heaving for a good while. Like he yeah, probably would have drowned before very long. Jesus. Oh, I'll help him. I'll hit him on the back. <laughs> yeah. Easy there, Donley. You don't give out on me yet. <clears throat> don't what touch is that there? happened? <clears throat> yeah, what happened, Donley? Oh, um, he's coughing. And yeah, it's, coughing. as soon as I can, you know, it was just an underwater. Something was holding me underwater. 
Right. But I did see but something. You weren't underwater. You were just uh, standing there. I, I I think I was underwater. <laughs> is is well, there like? Oh, sorry, God. I was just gonna say, let's not touch fucked up shit. Or just find a stick just to flip the body over. Yeah, did we get to flip the body at least over? It's it doesn't. Child, yeah, it doesn't look body. like it moved at all, and the water's like flat. What are we gonna learn from this? That there's a dead kid. There's, there's your portal. Know, that there are traps here. I mean, the portal is right there, and I point towards the crack, and I, I'm going to get my pickaxe ready. Be careful. Yeah, I agree. I think that's our the the crack is it, but yeah, I don't know what the hell. Well, this is uh, probably Asa Darabondi's drowning room, so this room's probably affected by whatever sick machinations he's been up to. Mm. And apparently he's still alive, so... Yes. It'd be great killing that oh. motherfucker again. And over and over. Um, I'm just wondering if there's any... Gray does want to try to put yeah, the body over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was just didn't want to interrupt. Sure. Like, as in, if there is a tool, like some debris within the room. I would say you probably have yeah we'll say there's some debris in the room just like a, a broken spoke of a chair or something that yeah. was there yeah and just flip the body over that it's clear that it is a body of well a small child yeah yeah, yeah. and i mean they're just wearing like 1920s kind of clothes it looks like and you flip them over and it's kind of like a, a delineation you can just see the skull having been underwater for so long and all the teeth are missing. Oh. And Is it, that it's, a sand roll? Yeah, it's a sand roll as you're yeah. looking at this body and okay. something just pulls it under the water. Uh, I, I failed that. Yeah, roll a, a, a D4. You kind of were mm -hmm. expecting it. Yeah. Oh, that's so the water three. splashes at this point. It, it basically makes a little bloop and then it's flat again. That's a three. Um, so I'll roll a d4. I'll use one of my bonds. Yeah. Okay. Don't oh, forget if you're using a bond, you're rolling your willpower. Oh, dang well, it. You lose I the same not... amount in willpower. Oh, um, that's already. Yeah. 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 Oh. Just that's in it. case it's dangerous for you for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down to one. Okay. Uh, let's 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 go dangerous. No, that's here. not too good. Uh, that's fine. Uh, and that's fine. Yeah, Gray is looking completely exhausted <laughs> at this point. Yeah. Uh, made any progress yet, Dent? Uh, yeah. I guess I suppose I will start smashing away at this crack with the pickaxe I have. Okay. Uh. No role necessary. You have the tools and you are widening this tunnel. And it isn't very long before you like you like it was enough. You could have crawled in, but you take a few hits and you realize it's just like a wall. You're actually hearing some bottles on the other side kind of push away from the wall and plunk together and roll across the floor. Uh, you can pretty easily make a big enough hole that you just dip in it's it's just like the wall between them well this is what we were looking for right now we need to find the bottle of uh jc jc lins and i don't know if it'd be helpful if we found our own bottles i'm gonna keep an eye out for it but yeah what exactly are you really these sure bottles what anyway the... Oh. Yeah, what's what's the reason? Why? What are we finding here? We are following the Abigail's directions. You're following yeah. Abigail's directions. I think finding our on. bottle will be beneficial. Everyone's looking for their bottle. Everyone's looking, yes. It's the new hot thing. <laughs> I'm looking at what or how he's reacting. Um he's uh he's got a cigarette in his hands <clears throat> for some reason but it's like down to the very end he just kind of throws it on the ground uh stubs mm -hmm. it out um he's 
looking worried and kind of resigned. Like, uh, he doesn't seem shocked by this cold air that's coming out of you or out of out at you from this labyrinth. I'm assuming it's also pitch dark. Yes, correct. Okay. Because that's why everyone needed lanterns and all that stuff. Right. Just ask Whitward, what is up with the damn teeth? And you had a we had a vial on you. Uh why is that teeth. body right. missing teeth and you had a tooth and you had a bug. Yeah, gold yeah. in a Beetle vial. Bug. I don't know. Um I think it's like I don't know <clears throat> different people's thing, you know, like the tooth. It seems like that's Ace's thing. I don't know what the bug's about. Was there a mention of Asa getting the his victim's teeth? Has anyone? I don't remember. Well, any it didn't. We didn't really get any details on why he was drowning children. I mean, so what? This this chomo has a fucking fetish for teeth. We'll kill him again. Yeah, I think it'd be wasting energy at that point then. Yeah, and Whitwer seems to be. Uh, yeah, I like that plan. Um, I that guy has creeped me out for ages. I say take him out as much as you can. I can agree with you on that one. It's good that he feels um, it. I'm going well, to light well my trap lantern. In a... Okay. Hmm? You yeah, think we voltage, should yeah. conserve our lanterns and not have them all lit at the same time? Right. I right think now, are I they have gas lanterns or? Uh, they're like the the candle. Like you're actually just putting a candle in, and it's giving off oh, the light. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. Yeah. Well, then we have extra candles. I hope. Hey, you have a few. Like yeah. we'll say three. I think was the number I gave before. Don't come at three, me if I'm wrong. Three total or three? Each? Uh, three extra. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, they do call it the labyrinth, so we should stick together and not get lost. I would even recommend tying ourselves together. Uh, not a bad plan. I'll go with that. Yeah. How are you do tying each other the... together? Yeah. What are you? What are you? you I guess you have. Yeah, you have some rope. So no one's opposed to this plan. No, I think that once we get inside, though, we should see if there's some sort of organization system, like in a library. Oh, like uh, maybe the everything is alphabetical. labeled alphabetically? Yeah. I mean, maybe. we'll see. Yeah, I'm no Whitmer clue. is like, laughing to easy. himself. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think it's that easy, but... <laughs> no hey, yeah. I went, where do you have extra cigarettes on you? Or that's the only one? Uh, feels, feels around at... I... Don't I don't sorry, I, I think I have he holds up a cigarette. I have one, but I don't I, I don't know where my lighter is. Uh where'd you get that one then? As you pointed to one that ah. Okay, okay. Let's just go into the damn labyrinth. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you are you have knotted yourselves together with some of the rope. You've got a couple lanterns at this point, and you're going... What are you going to look for, I guess? Um, I'm going to look for my own bottle. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And I want to cut from there, as Agent Dent will say that you're kind of leading the charge into these just festooned with bottles. And we kind of go down one turn a corner and Nancy, you're holding a kind of makeshift torch, some of your clothes. And you've been at this for a while. What are you looking for? I found my bottle, but as my bottle told me, my father still doesn't have his. So I'm looking for a bottle for Liam Barnes. Very good. And 
you've definitely been spending some time doing this, so go ahead and roll a search with a plus 20. Sixteen is a success. Okay. You are looking and you find that there is a strange bottle that you run across because you're kind of getting used to these. Your your torch is giving you enough light for the moment. Um, but really you're you're just supplementing it with kind of stuff you find. So it's really hit or miss whether you're able to have it at the moment. But you see that there is a very strange bottle in front of you and this is why it makes you stop is it's spinning by itself on the floor just together and you look at it and it's got well it's two bottles that kind of got fused together and their stems are pointing away from each other Hmm. And you can look at you. You kind of have to watch. It's not like a super fast spin. It's kind of like in a video game where you just have something randomly spinning on the ground. Uh, you see that one of the names is Janine Sawyer, and one of the names is Jody Miller. Hmm. I'll stop that from spinning. Yeah, you stop it. And do you pick it up or do you just stop it? Lift your hand? No, I'll pick it up. Okay. Yeah, it's uh it's about twice as heavy as a normal bottle, which you've grown accustomed to. It's, it's close as you can get to normal here. And it does there's a kind of slosh. These feel a little bit more active than the others. Well, I'll don't really have uh, the way to carry it around with me, so. Yeah, I mean, you could tuck it under an arm, but it's kind of up to you. These names, these names. Do they ring a bell? Um, I that is a good question. Um, do an intelligence check. That's I think that's how we'll handle it. Eighty-eight is a failure. No, they don't ring a bell. <laughs> Worthless garbage. Not, not like that. Not that there. Are, not that there are any bells down here. Yeah. <laughs> but I'll I'll set it. I'll set the bottles back down and start. Mm-hmm spinning them again yeah and, and you on. yeah you barely need to give them a, a push and they just start on their own kind of perpetually spinning on the floor making a light grinding noise and i continue onwards okay make another search at a plus 30 oh five oh five you find this time that there is a bottle. One second as I look at my notes. And it is for a, where is it? It means nothing, clearly. This bottle, who, who, where is the name? There we go. A Harry Cole. It is a bottle that is strange from the others because it looks, uh, it kind of looks like a book. And it's like a glass book kind of stamped with this Harry Cole name and uh, like a stem. Like you could put it in a bookshelf and be like kind of a cheeky little gift to give people. Hmm. Again, the name bottle's interesting, but yeah, I'm I'm gonna go with the uh the previous one for that. Yeah, it's not it's not sounding familiar. I'll I'll set it aside. Yeah. And make one more search roll as you're setting out from there at a plus forty this time. 
70 is a failure. He went with the plus 40. We'll get back to you then as you are setting off and yeah, uh, you do have to spend some time finding more components to burn uh, there. So kind of say, and this is, you're not sure how long you've been wandering around here. It's been a long time, you think. Agent Dent, you are leading your crew of roped together people. I would like for you to roll a search. Hey, here it goes. That is a 78 fail. Yeah, it's... You heard something around a corner, but you didn't see anything. And you're starting, like, with these lanterns, you're realizing just how big this area is. Like, Nancy's got a pretty good idea because she's been here for a while. But when they say labyrinth, it's cold. There's, like, this wind that goes past every once in a while that kind of whispers things in your ear. It's the kind of thing where it's like, did I hear? No, I, I didn't hear anything. Yeah, I don't like that. But it's just... I mean, every time you come to a fork in the road, you have to choose some way. And you're always thinking, like, what if I, what if it was right down that other one? What if it was just right there and I just missed it? So you're, it, it's very frustrating. I can't think and, like that. I'm going to drive myself insane. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead and make another search at a plus 10 this time. Okay. Woohoo. That is a 38 out of 60. You are looking, and you see that there is a bottle on the floor uh, with the name Simon Carson on it. I'm going to pick it up and say, does Simon Carson ring a bell? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> oh. Here's your bottle, and I give it to you. Mm -hmm. Open it. Awesome. How about we wait? Do you till want we to get... open it? I don't know sure? if we would need it. But if you die when you open it. I have no clue what to do with the bottles right now. We just. Well, I'm telling you, I'm going to open mine. I Let's... need to know. Well, Let's keep searching. I, I, I'm also searching for my own bottle. I mean, I think we all are, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and JC Lens. JC Lens, JC Lens. I mean, holding, holding, holding it yeah. up, there, there's nothing in it. There's a little bit of like liquid if you <laughs> catch it just right in the light. Like it's difficult to see, like a little kind of maybe like a black red kind of liquid just at the very bottom. And uh, yours is a uh, very like a uh, kind of mass market sort of feel to it. Like you've seen bottles yeah, you like this, like market. a Coke, a Coke bottle you've seen before Something down here. Help. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's just got and, like a little twist top sort of thing that you'd pop open. And that's not the first time you've seen bottles kind of like that. Like they're not all cork, they're just different bottles. So these they they don't all look the same. No, they're all different. Um some of them look similish, but that's probably just because they're all bottles of some kind. Does something would you notice happened. any kind of of categorization or anything? <laughs> no, it's no. it's a mess. I, I imagine. But I don't I, know I'm how we found. If, I'm wondering if almost... something bad happens if we like break the bottle. I don't know. I mean, there was a bottle broken already. Uh, you know, uh, the coat of arms. That's where I was able to get that French coat of arms. Um, I There's... forgot whose bottle was that. Does Simon's bottle look like Simon's personality? Mass market? Yeah, Aim. probably not personality wise. Uh, I guess Don I mean, Lee, does that, do you feel like, like that does? fits you? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, so it's then, just modern, I'm assuming. A, a little, maybe a little earlier than modern, but not uh, like some of these bottles look like. 1400s type things right like they look very uh -huh. old some look <clears throat> new some in the middle somewhere is 
there's just a lot of these fucking bottles all over. So I'm going. going to look for one that looks like uh, research, uh, research <laughs> library, bo- <laughs> book of file bottle. Okay. And see roll, if I can find it. Yeah. Roll a search for me. Yeah, mine's probably your, a beer bottle. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Voltus is looking around for these, his bottle as you are kind of looking at Simon's swishing it around. <clears throat> what? I got That'd a triple almost... zero. Ooh, okay. Mm-hmm. Did you break one? Did I knock Did over a bunch own. of Agent, bottles? Agent Voltus, you're looking for your bottle, and you see, oh, there's a little bit right over there. There's kind of a like a small chest that is available, and you go over and you open it, and you feel that there is the sudden sensation of lightness around your chest, like around your waist. And you feel back and the rope that was between you and the others has been just cleanly cut off. And they are so it didn't just like untie. Yeah. It's just, cleanly severed through and you're lucky you have a lantern because you don't see gray anywhere guys guys i start yelling can we hear any response no (laughs) just echoes down these hallways and we notice Uh, that that he's just gone all right like we feel lighter well he's fucked you feel lighter because when you turn and kind of walk away you feel the rope that was taught to him before because he was kind of off over there you actually can't move because it's just tied around a uh like the foot of a wardrobe um what the hell he's gone what? i'm gonna light up my lantern yeah yeah oh, everybody should definitely do a, a sanity yeah. roll at this point is this Look, mine is tied to anything no, yeah like. yeah yours isn't tied to anything all right oh There's i just tied to a chest I got 100 as well, or triple zero. Oh, no that's way. Yeah. <laughs> this is a, perfect. Roll a d4 due to helplessness. You run off and get lost. If it's helplessness, I pass. <clears throat> okay. Then oh, zero. I rolled a, I I rolled a one anyway. on sanity. But, okay. Um, nice. Do I run off? Do the. That's no? my helplessness. Okay. Go. That's my check. Oh, you're adapted right. to helplessness? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is that, a D6 charisma? No, it's a D6 in power. You lose. Okay. Oh, that's I'm adapted bad. to both. I'm just... I'm, <laughs> I'm checked out. I'm demented. He's living the dream. Um, I'm... Double check the knots. Make sure we're all tied together. Put my bottle in my bag and secure it as much as possible, but... I'm going to do this. I'm convinced that I can find dents. Okay, then you search. Yeah. 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 Go ahead and take a make a search. <laughs> and we'll get back to Voltus shortly. Yeah, it's so nice oh. that nobody bothers to look for me. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't hear We're anybody calling your name. You're gone, so <laughs> I, 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 I got a 26. I... Okay. Nice. <laughs> yeah, you're looking for your bottle and... You do see that there is... Wait, you're looking for your bottle? Whose bottle are you looking for? Dense, Dense bottle. Dense bottle. I'm convinced I can find it. You are convinced? Right we well, do have a bond. It. Yes. You do. You um, found mine. I know I can find his. <laughs> one second. Just checking the, check the rules. Good shit. Quick. You are looking through here and you do find Dent's bottle. Oh, that's great. It looks very similar to yours. It looks uh, kind of that same mass market feel to it. And it is uh, much more scratched up than yours is. And some of the glasses bubbled on the surface not enough to like make a hole in it but it's like me it's kind (laughs) of ugly yeah it's kind of like you yeah this one went through a fire or something 
uh, clown. Hand it very gently to Dent. All right, I'm gonna open this just to let you know. Should we do it now? Um, I still have found mine. Well. Actually, I mean, oh, we don't even know wait. what it does. I don't know. Have a I don't have a clue. I think the only way we find out is to. Yeah, but let's open. Uh, let's find JC's. I do it. And then can can Gray <laughs> find hers? It seems like he's she's just not involved in this. Well, I'm not gonna just, just like... disappear. Yeah, I'm not just gonna disappear as you pop the top. I need to know the secret of my life. Yeah. I need to know. You um, pop the top, and we're gonna cut over to Agent Voltus. Voltus, you gave a couple calls. What are you doing? No one's answering back. Well, I rolled for sanity and I'm I'm fine. So it's like, I guess I'm like, oh, Jesus. Um, <laughs> uh, did I, did I look in, you said there was a chest. Yeah. You, you looked in the chest and there was nothing in it. Nothing in it. Well, I, I mean, feel bottles, like but... I'm, it's not really a library, but I'm just going to, Keep looking. Hopefully they can't be that far away. Yeah. Make a search roll, please. Oh, 98. Well, it's almost as bad as my yeah, that's, zero. Yeah, that's pretty bad. As you are looking through here and you're seeing your, your candles getting a little low. Did you have one of the extra candles? You probably would. So yeah. you're you're not feeling too bad at the moment, but you're These a little like four hour or two hour candles. Or... They, they last quite a bit, but, but you've been here it's... for quite a while. Oh boy. Just walking down these halls and for a moment, the light just goes out like the wind catches it. And you notice that there is a yellow glow coming around one of these corners, like uh, just a okay. faint yellow light. I'll stand very still. Uh, I, I mean, is it moving or is it? No, it's a, it's oh, a pretty okay. static light. Well, then I will slowly approach it. What kind of sound is made in here as I'm stepping? Is it making a lot of noise, a splash? It's a... It's kind uh, of like a dry. quiet cobblestone sort of feel. There okay. have been puddles here and there, but nothing too like uh, nothing too noisy. So you can walk quietly. I will, I, whether it's stealth or not. I'm trying to make very little noise. So I'm setting my feet down on the ground very quietly mm -hmm. as I move forward towards the light. Yeah, and as you turn the corner, you recognize that the light is coming through this little vent that's up on the wall one of those like uh square hashed kind of vents um right. and it it looks like a little light bulb uh is shining through you, you kind of have would have to get up on your tiptoes to look through it i'll i'll do that actually i'll come over and i'll i'll get up on my tiptoes and look through mm -hmm. and there's a small apartment there it looks like there's a a little futon there's some uh photographs kind of all over the place and there is a young woman just sitting on the bed and she's reading a book it looks like the king in yellow but is she doesn't this, seem to uh, notice you in the vent just kind of peeking through is this the kind of vent that i could fit through or it's just a small little no, yeah, about that, like a air vent. Hello. Let's oh, see. Jesus! The, the book goes flying across the room. Oh, I'm and... sorry. I apologize. What the? And you see this uh, kind of uh, brown-haired girl, uh, about twenty-something, you think, uh, looking at this vent, and. You get the feeling she can't see you very well through right, there or I'm anything. In the dark. What? What do you what, want? 
Oh, don't don't be alarmed. I'm I'm not a a, a phantasm or a ghost or anything. Oh, yeah, yeah. I figured. Uh, my my name is Harry Cole. Uh, are you um? And who are you? I'm Abby. Abigail. Well, yes. I noticed you were reading The King in Yellow. That's a very dangerous book. <laughs> okay. Can can you tell me what year it is? Uh, 2007? No, that's not right. 1995. She gives you the right number. For uh, 1995, for, the, <laughs> yeah. for, for just night before floors, yeah. night floors, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, so you're not aware of everything that's going on yet. Uh, you've still got a ways to go. <sighs> I'm afraid I'm stuck in the labyrinth. Uh, you're not probably going to know what that is yet either. Sorry, I'm from the future. That sounds crazy, but. Yeah, it does. Okay. Um, A lot of crazy things are going to happen to you because of that book that you just read. Okay. And uh, I really don't know your entire story, so I, I really can't offer any advice. I was hoping maybe this was a way out, but I don't think I can fit through the vent. <laughs> no, you, you can... Go find another person to get through the walls. Go back towards Roger's room, maybe. He's the kind of weird that would like that kind of thing. Okay. Well, remember my name, please. Uh, it's it's Harry Cole. And if maybe in the future you have something you want to share, I'd much appreciate if you leave me a message somewhere. Uh, I'm sorry I frightened you. Yeah, yeah, no problem. It... Have a nice evening, and I'll <laughs> I'll pull away from the vent. And hmm, that was weird. Yeah, you hear like a little muttering on the other side, like gonna have to contact the super to change the locks in this fucking building. But I'm uh, I'm hopeful now that uh, there are ways out. Uh, I will, uh, if uh, I'll relight my new a, a new candle, mm -hmm. and uh, I will continue my search. But I have a funny feeling that putting my hand on the right hand wall and following it along is not mm -hmm. going to work this time. There's something yeah. odd about the the labyrinth; it shifts. Yeah. Because my friends were nowhere around when I suddenly wasn't there. <laughs> um, I'm just going to keep going then. Keep looking for my bottle. And okay. if, I, if I do find a way out, I'm going to choose leaving the labyrinth yeah. over continuing right. the search. Uh, just to give me an idea, go ahead and roll one more search at a plus 10%. Yeah. I'm hoping I end up in an interesting day and age. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 51. Okay. Is that a success or failure? Oh, I'm sorry. What was I rolling? Uh, search. Oh, search. E. Uh, search is, uh, that is a pass, a regular okay. pass. Let's go back to Nancy. Nancy, you are going down these halls, still looking for your father's bottle. You know, you love it. Give me a search roll, please. Any pluses or just? Uh, do a plus 50, I believe, is what you're up to. Oh, plus. Oh, 74 is not. Oh, I needed a 71. Okay. Uh. Yeah. And we're talking like hours are passing for each of these checks. Like you are, you're looking, you're having to find things, you're burning things. And you turn down one of these tunnels and you just see, there is a man there looking 
at the ground. Uh, he looks maybe in his 40s, and he's wearing very old clothes, uh, kind of in the same style. You've seen the uh, the Castains, uh, kind of in that same time period of uh, 1400s France. But he's just looking at this spot on the floor. You do. You know the bottles are on the shelves. Usually. Not always. Uh, uh, and he seems like he doesn't quite understand and he uh, speaks French, which you do understand. He, he basically does the parlez-vous français. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm so sorry for any French speakers. Uh, uh, and he starts to speak to you in French. He's, ah, you're... Have you seen my bottle? It's supposed to be right here. And what is your name? Uh, Michael. Michael... Castain. It was, it was right here. And you are seeing that he is like crying. I, I don't know how I can go on without it. That's the terrible thing about life. Almost everybody has to go on without theirs. No, no, everybody has a bottle, but, but me. What's even the point of it's even the point of anything if you don't have your bottle? If you don't have a purpose. That's a question only you can answer. And does Nancy remember whose yes. bottle she shattered? Yeah. Yes. How does go ahead and make a sanity check? Yeah. Is yeah, you're <laughs> seeing this broken man just 36 is a pass for sanity. All right. How's Nancy dealing with this that she <laughs> does not succumb to it? Have you considered Have you considered the missing bottle as its own message for you? Uh, perhaps I will think of that for a while. I'll just stay here and think of that for a while. For a while. A good... Long while. And he, he actually like pops a squat at this point just in front of this space on the floor. I would feel guilty if I were real. <laughs> and it's at that moment as you're saying I'd feel guilty if I was real that you hear a small like wind up music box tune echoing down the hallway that's down a bit and your lights just enough to reach as you see the small clockwork automaton about maybe yay high maybe like a foot and a little with a doll head and a little like carrying tray with a piece of paper on it. And the rest of it's just like a mishmash of gears and wooden sticks. It, it looks terrible and it its wheels are not quite right. So it has a weird gait as the music box is going, but it's just kind of passes this T junction in front of you. Oh, what, what's the paper? Uh, You go to follow it. Mm -hmm. 
and you pretty much bump into Agent Voltus. Agent Voltus, you were also hearing a music box kind of coming around the corner. Oh, there yeah, you are. <laughs> oh. oh, hello, Nancy. How's Nancy oh. look? <laughs> um, well, she's missing her uh, her jacket. Uh, <laughs> oh, would you she's... like something to put on? Uh, uh, to keep you warm. It's chilly in here. No, nah, you get used to it. Well, here, put this over your shoulders. Are you all right? I thought you were uh, had left the brothel bend. No, I, I mean, I will soon. Um, off to Carcosa, as they say. Uh, just as soon as I take care of one little small bit of business here. You found your way here. I've, have you found I your... have found my bottle. Yes. You found your bottle. I haven't found mine yet. Apparently, I was... I was roped to the others, and suddenly I wasn't. Uh, mm. Something cut our ropes, and I was... Adrift. I met Adrift Abigail, sort of. Oh, how is she? Well, she was fine, because it was 1995, and uh, she hadn't... Uh, she was just then reading the book. Mm. Uh, so there are ways Only out. Only time worked that way. Well... Your bottle, I suppose, while well, I'm down here, I could look for it. What, what is your name? I suppose your bottle's not under Voltus. No, it's it's under Harry Cole. That's Oh, name. your bottle is a lovely thing. Looks like a book. You've seen Just my like bottle. A book. Oh, yes. Oh, do you remember where it was? And I do want to mention that there is that little weird thing it's kind of underfoot at this point like yeah I, I, i'm gonna i'm gonna scoop this. i'm gonna scoop down the paper i'm mm -hmm. gonna be like of course i know where your bottle is what, what you're gonna want to do is we're gonna take a left go past the next two <laughs> hallways take a right then a left and the left and the right mm -hmm. go around the curve and then from there if you go past the next junction take a left and then a right it should be uh, on the ground just there Okay, left and a right and a right and a left and a left down the corridor and just go around the curve and then <laughs> I, I got it. And Nancy, that piece of paper you got, it's actually like a nice card stock. Um, it appears to be a envelope for Harry Cole. No, oh, it's for you. Oh, uh, it's probably from Abby. We'll see. And I'll, I'll open it up. Mm-hmm. And it is an invitation to a masquerade at the palace. Invitation to a masquerade at the palace. Mm -hmm. My goodness. And uh, it's got a little, like, sub-note on it of, uh, I didn't forget about you, Harry. Ah. Uh, you see, we can affect the past. What do you mean? Well, when I talked to Abigail about oh, half an hour ago, I told her to remember who I was and to leave me a message if she could in the future. And here it is. She's made sure that I've got an invitation to the Oh, see, the this palace. is where you've gone all wrong, Harry. Oh. You keep thinking of the past, present, and future as different things. There is, but only the moment, you understand. So I've heard. Uh, I've done a little bit of reading of quantum physics. But, uh, I mean, I'm just going with the flow. That's all when any, that's all anybody ever does. Whether, whether or not they deceive themselves otherwise is another matter entirely. I, for instance, suffered greatly until I learned that I wasn't real. Well, are we all real? Who knows? No, I know for sure I'm not. Well, That's what my bottle said. So your bottle told you that you weren't real. The How do you know your bottle answer. told you the truth? That's what is in the bottle, of course. The truth? Hmm. Whatever passes for the truth, anyway. 
Well, each of us has our own path, and perhaps following the path that you all think is paths the lead to your bottle or your death, or to the fact that uh, your bottle no longer exists, in which case only one path remains open to you. But when you opened your bottle, you didn't die. I was afraid it was of letting course. your soul out. <laughs> I am already dead, so. There goes well, we hypothesis. established that, but yeah, uh, apparently death is not the end. There you are. Yeah, the death is the end of some things and the beginning of others. Have you found anybody else's bottles? Uh, there's a really pre- intriguing one. Two bottles fused together, two different names, just spinning endlessly around and round and round and round. Hmm. And Maybe round and round and round and round and round. And round. Maybe a true caress around a wampeter. I see you read your Vonnegut. Yeah. Kurt Vonnegut's one of my favorites. Uh, Maybe your bottle will contain Ice Nine. Psh. I, 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 are you, have you been walking as you're talking, like doing the, the path yeah, towards yeah. the right and left? Sure. Yeah, because I, I think that's the perfect time as you see Voltus that the bottle that Nancy is telling you about is this book kind of thing. It's got your name on it. It's precisely what I thought that it would look like. Uh, I'll I'll pick the bottle up. It's um, got a little liquid in it. Here, a toast. A I'm going to pick it. up somebody random, some random ass <laughs> bottle. And go clean. Well, I'm I'm not so sure. I want to open it, but nonsense. Of course you do. You don't wander all this way not to open it. You know that. No. You can lie to yourself, true. but you know. Your whole life has been leading to this very moment, and yet you're going to leave it quirked? Really? Did you, did you drink the contents? All that time studying. All of it. And now here you are. You're sounding very, very sinister. But uh, I, I think the truth. I think I'm, the I'm truth convinced. Is a very sinister sting thing, don't you think? If the truth wasn't so sinister, we wouldn't <laughs> spend all of our time hiding and running and fleeing and groveling before it. But now here you are. Here you are with it in your very hands. <laughs> well, this is do you do you still worry. have your bottle? Up to Do you. you still have your bottle, I mean, Nancy? It's empty. So did the liquid evaporate when you opened the bottle? Or you was keep, there liquid? You keep in trying yours? to use these sci- these scientific terms. I mean I'm a researcher. Liquid yep. evaporate. Uh, Nancy, I'll pop uh, the if, top. yeah, if you're listening, uh, <laughs> yeah, there was no liquid in it when you opened it. You don't remember any, but okay, Voltus, you are I'll pop, pop the, the top, top and we'll cut across Agent Dent. You just popped your top. I'm listening. That sounds bad. I don't like that. You popped the top of your bottle. <laughs> okay. And you uh kind of immediately you're you're hearing like these little whispers from out of it. Can't quite make it out though. I'll listen in deeply. Put your ear next to it. And roll a d20. Okay. Uh, where's my d20? Oh, I got the big one. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, I got 16. All right. Gain that much sanity back. Hell yeah. As you're hearing these voices underneath... But don't get too excited because I want you to roll a D10 because the voices in the bottle, they're they're talking. They're they're hard to make out. And you just hear Ace's voice deep underneath it. You have have to let let your your daughter daughter go. go. You have have to to let let your daughter daughter go. go. And just repeating this, repeating this. And it's in your head. You you just keep hearing this. 
God damn it! I'll smash the empty bottle. Dan, you all right? What happened? Been better. <laughs> I, I rolled a two. Yeah. You feel like you've accomplished a great purpose, but right there is that little bit of you. You were kept away from exactly what you needed because of Asa. I'm gonna fucking string that motherfucker up. Bastard. All right. Um. So we're here to look Do for I lose Casey two? Lind. Yeah, I'm lose sorry, two, okay. but you still get the the sanity okay. from the the bottle. Yeah, J.C. Lins. Um, yeah, and so I would like it, it to... was ultimately a good thing that I heard. It's it's really it's really focused me, Donley. Opening your bottle. Yeah. And, and it's okay. empty. You smashed it, right? You... I smashed it after I emptied it. After I listened in. Um. Hmm. I mean, I as much as. <laughs> Like, I would like to find J.C. Lin's, and eventually I would like to find my bottle. Well, why don't we find your bottle? How much candlelight do we have left? Yeah, we uh, got it. Yeah, you've got a couple left. Oh, if we've got a couple yeah. left, let's look for yours, Gray, and then we'll find J.C. Lin's. Yeah, you look for Gray's, I'll look for J.C. Lin's. No, but I mean, you look for my... Definitely open that up. You don't want it to get broken or anything. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh... But, Let me find um, Daisy Lynn's first, and then I'll open it. I'm definitely more <laughs> focused. I I have that purpose. I know I can get through this. Yes, that's the more I'm very here. <laughs> I'm just getting really tired. Sorry, guys. Just uh, shit. I just want yeah, to we'll find my we'll bottle. find your bottle. Yeah, I'm going to look for J.C. Lynn's. Okay. I'm going to uh, look for Gray, Agent Gray's bottle. Don, all right. All of you roll searches <laughs> and let me know what you get. Okay. Oh, 40. Um, I'm particularly 48 looking... out of 50. Okay. I got a 39. <laughs> okay. And Donley, how'd you do? I pass. It's 40. Okay. Gray and Dent, you are excited because you are going down one of these hallways. <laughs> you make a turn, and there is a spinning bottle on the ground. Why is it doing that? Wait, what? Yeah, these two bottles just put together, spinning slowly on the floor, grinding, grinding. Well, you did mention you were a twin, right? I mean, I have a twin brother, uh, <laughs> Jeremy. Well, let's see if it's I, yours. I, I stop it. Just yeah. Donley, carefully. Let's, let's stick together. We're still tied yeah. together. So we're Donley's yeah. not there. Fuck in hell. Uh, no, sorry, my friend. And neither is Whitwer. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, we got Are uh, you happy now, Gray? <laughs> but Gray, yeah. yeah, looking looking at those bottles, uh, you can clearly see Janine Sawyer and uh Jody Miller um, is the other. Well, she's maybe ignoring what Dent has said, like, are you happy? She's kind of distracted by yeah. these. <laughs> We lost Stanley, one of the most reliable people we could ever have. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's looking at it. That's my name, Janine Sawyer. But who's this, Jody Miller? Do you know Jody Miller? Not a clue. But you should open it. There's, They'll probably do you like, some good. They I'd have say, two openings, right? Uh, like, yes. Uh, one, one, but like one bottle is more Jody Miller's. The other's more Janine Sawyer's. Is it? Are they separated? That makes sense. Uh, they're fused together, uh -huh. but on a of like an obvious line, right? Like okay, so they are separated. It's kind of tough to tell with the liquid inside. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, maybe. Okay. Um, I guess I have two ends to open. Uh, <laughs> where does that sound? Um, she's going to uh, open the one that says her name, uh, Janine Sawyer. Okay. You like, pop it, and yeah, you're yeah. also hearing those whispers. When you hold it to your ear, you just hear this voice within. Uh, roll a d20. It's not what the voice uh, says, but you do need yeah. to roll a d20. <laughs> That'll be kind of fun. Oh, I rolled a one. Okay, you That's get funny. one sanity back. That's fine. As you hear Mr. Wilde's voice say, I put you, put back, you back together. together. 
You're nothing, You're nothing but, but the remnants, the remnants of, what of what I found. I found. All right. Is there another end that she needs to pop to? Like, uh, there is the one that says uh, Diana. Yeah. Yeah. So she's going to open that and hear it. And listening to it, it's difficult because the voices are broken sounding. It's almost like a composite of all these different voices put together. But you he do hear it whisper. Your child will become a king with your presence in his life. I think you just, then we'll just see like a gray putting the bottle away very slowly. And um, is that a sanity roll because of what she heard what Wild said? Um, It sounds true. Like, you actually gained sanity from this is oh, kind yeah, of yeah, like where true. Dent was saying of, like, mm -hmm. this gave you clarity is you're positive that that is true. And what Wild said is true. Mm. That's probably why um, you only gained one sanity. It's not a yeah. reassuring thing to hear. No, no, it makes sense. So, yeah, Gray's going to put the bottle away where in his pocket and said, okay, um... Let's go find uh, Agent Donnelly. Uh, sorry to take so much time, uh, Dan. Well, how are we going to find him? <laughs> um, right, well, that's uh, a good idea. We might as well start searching for J.C. Linz's bottle. Yeah, and hopefully maybe Donnelly found found J.C. Linz, I guess. Yeah. I bought Whitworth's bottle, too, uh, while we're at it, if he has one. Yeah, we can use that over him as leverage. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if he went off to find his bottle. Yeah. Well, let's, uh, yeah, as you two start going down these, uh, Donley, you were kind of looking ahead for this, and uh, you're looking through these bottles, and you just hear Whitwer behind you go, So, how long do you want me to hold this rope for, did you say? Uh, hold the rope. It should be tied to you. Oh, no, the other split. And yeah, you can see he's just kind of holding the belt. Yeah. Like, he's not tied to you at all. Uh, and he has a lantern of his own. Damn it. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to yell for Dent, but I don't think we'll... Nothing. Yeah, just echoes away into the distance. Yeah, I'm going to continue. Uh, JC's got to be right here. JC. JC uh, Lynn's got to be right here. Yeah, go ahead and roll a search for me. Oh, that's a pass. Okay. <clears throat> you are looking through this. You're frustrated, right? You've You've spent hours down here at this point. People are getting lost. And finally, you round a corner and uh, it was like, whoa, 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 hold up. Did you see that? See what? There was a... There! And he points and there is a flash of gold down the hallway. Something just caught in the lantern light. Shit. What's that? Just yeah, just like a something moved very quickly down the hallway. Um, I'm going to back up away from we don't I don't think we need to mess with any of these gold. No, no, you could hear it, right? I didn't hear it. I saw something. Something. That fucking the golden thing. Yeah. We've seen. I want it. Fuck. <laughs> what for? Uh. And he's. Gen you see, like a genuine confusion cross his face. I uh. I don't know. But I. I really. 
what that. Well, he's got the lantern. If he takes off, I gotta go. Uh, I don't. All right, I'm going. Yeah, and you can see there's that like confliction of like, come on, we we got to see what this is. All right, I I gotta go. <clears throat> yeah, and he's running down the hallway, and twist turn. He's seeing something. You're not even sure what it is. You're just kind of following someone who's not, you know, maybe a few bricks short of a wall. Yeah. Uh, when you exit into this large amphitheater, and you see that. Ringing the amphitheater, there are all these golden small shapes, roughly like child size, just draped down. And they're all just facing towards the stage where there is a single bottle on the kind of like a, a little pillar there. Do the well, how far am I from that bottle? Um, you just entered the room, so it's kind of like down some steps, uh, maybe down. like seven and, or eight sort of tiers to this sort of thing. Like it's a it's a decent sized little amphitheater. These gold things remind me of what I saw when I was under the water. A little bit, Pardon? yeah, yeah. But I'm they're gonna, not moving. I'm a dash. I'm gonna make a dash for the bottle. Okay, you run for the bottle. And you can see as you're getting onto this stage that it says the author. Oh. And you're reaching for it. And we're going to cut over to Voltus. Voltus, you have opened your bottle. It's this little book. Yeah, you're leaning in. And I and... I don't want the contents to get out, so I'm going to hold it really close and <laughs> yeah, just stick be it ready in. to stop or it. And you just uh, go ahead and roll the d20. D20. Five. Okay. You gain five sanity as the bottle whispers. All of your learning has led you nowhere. You have no control over the universe unless you seize it. I'll quickly stop right again. Any liquid left? There's nothing left. I'm keeping the bottle because it's a cool bottle. Yeah. Make a nice keepsake for later. How did you find the truth? Contemplative. I'm going to think about what it said. Uh... I'm not really surprised. You know, researchers aren't really interested in finding the answer to all things. They're just interested in gathering the facts, and nothing really changes with that. But I have to think about it. I don't know if you really do need to think about it. I do. <laughs> it's mine to think about. You get the truth, and yet still you ponder it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Plus, I've got my invitation. Did the invitation say anything about where or when? About yeah, the the, uh, the full text is: Join us at the palace, a masquerade to celebrate the new king. Come to dine. Come to dance. Come. Okay, so no, no particular so, date yeah. or yeah. Okay. Um. Again, cool. you're hung up. Still hung up. Let's see if we can find the others. No. The others don't concern me. So what are you two looking for now as you're going about your day? Liam. Liam Barnes. Are we looking for your father? Okay. No. Okay. Yeah. I'll I'll help look for your father. All right. The two of you and Gray and Dent, you both 
kind of exit some hallways and you can see Whitwer standing kind of in the middle of you two in the hallway, just looking through a doorway. And he's visibly shaking as he's smoking and he looks like he's watching. You can hear these steps in a large room kind of slapping down some stairs. Whitver, I'm going to whisper. What? What? What do you see? Donley just went in. Who? What? Who? Donley? Donley. Okay. I'm going to draw my shotgun and walk in after him to back okay. his ass up. Uh, Gray is going to try to keep Whitver in her, in her, uh, in her <laughs> sight, just her dragging sight. him yep. along. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Nancy and Voltus. Did you say that we could see? Oh, you did say. Yeah, that you're we could all. See you all four of each other see it, and the only one that's not of your group right now is Donley. He's running ahead. And do we see uh, Gray and Dent? Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, hi guys. <laughs> uh, something big's gonna happen. Oh, I something just know big, it. huh? Yeah. Uh, I found my bottle, or Nancy did. And dense, Are you yeah, happy? Dent, Are you going. happy with the uh, the truth? Oh yeah, but I'm gonna go over to Dent and get close to him and go. I'm not so sure that's actually Nancy. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Um. Um. What does yeah, your I'm. What does your bottle look like, Voltus? Well, like me. I it's mean, like in that it's a book and uh, well, it's decorated uh, kind of nicely. Well, yeah. Um, Agent Gray is going to take out her bottle, which is like two bottles fused together. This is mine. Hmm. Maybe your soul is linked to somebody else. Uh, I don't want to think about that too much. Um, Donnelly's missing. Let's go find Donnelly. Okay. Um, hey, Michael. And... <laughs> hey, how's it going? He said he ran off. Oh, yeah, I saw ran... Abby. Wait, what? What? He said... I, I saw. I saw Abby. I had her in the past leave me a message in the future, which was an invitation to the the palace mm. masquerade. You should he's you should still, be talking to Abby. You should he, not be talking to Abby. He still does not understand mm -mm. our little bookworm munching, munching forever away without really understanding any of the words. I'll stomach fuel. I don't um, usually agree with her. She's right. Okay. Uh enough talk. Let's just what were you said Don went talk. that way? <laughs> Let's go. Uh, come on, Dan. Oh, I'm already going to back up Don. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Gray is going after Dan. He doesn't. She doesn't want to be part of this and dragging what we're along like from from the shoulder. Yeah, I got my pump action shotgun out. And I I've, I've moved to the back of the group unless Nancy is hanging behind. Then I'm in between okay. Nancy and the group. Okay, Donley. Let's kind of catch up with what you're doing. You ran down you see the bottle kind of up on this stage uh, it's there's some steps up to it you can easily right. get up to this bottle if you want yeah i'm running up and grabbing that bottle yeah you grab it you lift it it's this kind of dark crystal feel to it it's uh, very interesting how it's catching the light of the lantern as you're uh picking it up, it up and yeah you pick it up and the pillar underneath it shifts a little and you can see some gears start turning in it and near the back of the stage there is a door that starts to lower out but as you're holding this bottle on the stage you're you're starting to hear things around you these little small childish voices who is he? Who is he? I don't know him. Look at what he wears. Look at what he is. He's 
one of them. The static. The static. And these uh, gold child-like shapes are starting to come towards you out of the stands, starting to, like, hop down. And roll a sanity check. Uh, it's a three. Pass. Okay. <laughs> There's something under these robes that may have once been human, but it is not anymore. You're quite sure. And I think there's probably like the adrenaline is keeping you going, but you're definitely of the like the I don't want to look too hard at whatever <laughs> is under these things. Do I feel like I could get back or should I run for the door that's coming down on the stage? I mean, that seems to be the the only you, way the out fastest. is through. Yeah, I, I think I'm the door to the, the, door stage. the stage. Yep. <laughs> All right. In that case, uh, you have your bottle. It's. You actually have two bottles. You're double fisting. You have your bottle and you have the author's bottle. And that's what Dent and Gray see is they see this convergence of golden figures billowing down these steps towards Donnelly, who is running towards a door. Okay, if Donnelly's running, I'm running. Uh, okay. Same. I'm, bur- I'm breaking out into a sprint. Okay. Uh, Gray and Dent, Give me a dex roll. What are Voltus and Nancy doing? 17. Uh, I passed. Uh, Pass is 31. Right. Yeah, you're like you're kind of getting in the midst of these shapes. Are you just weaving? Are you pushing them out of the way? I'm, what I'm are you two doing? Them. Okay. Yeah, it's same. These okay. freaks aren't things. touching me. <laughs> Voltus, Nancy, you are seeing Dent and Gray there. <laughs> Clearly giving chase to Donnelly at this point. And these little figurey figure these do these <laughs> look to me like the thing I saw out of the corner of my eye in the Yeah. Well, if they're not moving at me, I'm just sort of hanging back. And watching. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they look like they're very much focused on Donley right now. Uh, Nancy, what are you doing? Oh, the circus continues. <laughs> Liam. <laughs> Liam. And there is something in you that says that Donley has Liam's bottle. Oh. There's that like weird assurance you have. It's kind of the same feeling you have when you opened your bottle that yes. this is true. Of course. Old daddy O holding out on me like always. Come, Boltus. Are you. <laughs> you're watching these other I'm, like Donley's having to like kind of jump and get through the doors as it's lowering uh, you think Gray and Dent are going to make it with how they're running Um, I mean I'll I'll follow but I don't like the look of those little gold children you know so and I don't want to get trapped uh if you spend so your time look- contemplating them like you do with everything in your life, you will find that sometimes... If Nancy runs, I'll run. If we're trying to get to this thing before it closes, I'll, I'll run. Okay. Is Nancy yeah. running? No. Oh, that's even creepier. She's just walking towards this massive golden children. They that you will can lead squeeze. the way. They know where my father's bottle is, and I will follow. Yeah. Fuck. That Whitworth's just kind of following along with you. And there kind of is like this wave that is following Donley, Gray, and Dent through these hallways. And Donley, you get to the other side. 
and you can hear them behind you. You do you have a lantern? No, I have. I probably have a flashlight, but no, I didn't have one of the lanterns. I've got a lantern. Yeah, yeah, you can see Dent and Gray coming behind you, and it's pretty much a straight run down this hallway at this Yeah, I'm point. going to the door. Okay, yeah, you're up over the door that's lowering. You can feel it underneath you. You go past hallway, and so it sounds like you're just running. All right, give me a dex check. It's an important one. <laughs> oh boy. That is a, uh... oh, that's a seven. Oh, that's great. As you are able to jump on, jump into this hallway and just take it off. And Dent and Gray, you can see these golden children. You outpace them, but they're not catching up as you go sprinting after Don Lee down this hallway. Have the Four. back of my brother. <laughs> yeah, so it's you three together, and then the other three, Voltus, Barnes, and Witwer, following after this wave of golden figures that rush down the hallway. I do want Voltus and Nancy <laughs> to give me sanity checks. 38 is a failure. Okay. 19 is a pass. Okay, uh, it is a one on a uh, success, a <laughs> D6 on a failure. Poor Nancy. Two. Okay, it's not that bad. Nancy, you are looking at this figure, and you get a better look than Voltus as one of the cloak billows. You see <laughs> it is a child's form, almost mummified, crawling with these golden beetles on the skin, under the skin, and there is a sense of hunger to these things as they are chasing the other three. But they're not that fast, really. You're thinking they're going to get away. How will they eat them when they have no teeth? Hmm. That's a quandary. Still, it seems like our... Cherubic guides won't be able to keep the pace. I'm kind of curious. This is an odd curiosity, but I reach into my pocket and I grab a couple of those teeth that mm -hmm. I uh, picked up earlier and I'm going to kind of throw them over the children's head. Uh, into the distance and see if they all run towards or move towards the teeth. Like yes. maybe they want their they, teeth back. They absolutely do. And there's actually a squabble between a couple of them over these teeth uh, as they're fighting. And you actually see one of them gets it and it just kind of disappears underneath the, the thing. Like it eats it really quickly. Well, maybe we can get through if I just toss this handful of teeth and they all go for the teeth. Now, is the door closed or is it? Uh, no, it's open? it's wide open and some of them have it's, it's uh, kind way. of gone through. But yeah, you're throwing these teeth. They're very interested in that. Okay. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I'm, I'm going to ignore nancy at this point and i'm just going to uh move forward quickly and if any of them get anywhere near me i'm going to throw mm -hmm. i don't have a bucket of them i've got a you know a handful that i have yeah. in my pocket yeah you got them from the room the arboretum. See if i can make them all run away or run towards the teeth instead and then i'll i'll go down the hallway so like the bird lady from home alone you're yeah throwing teeth out and yeah, it, it kind of is. Yeah. <laughs> Good thing you made that sanity change. <laughs> and yeah, a path is opened. And yeah. you follow down this hallway. Gray, Dent, and Donley. You are walk like you're running down this hallway. Eventually, you get tired. I mean, it's... There's only so much running you can do. The voices, everything kind of sl like 
slows down. You don't hear them. And you can see this hallway just goes on for a very, very long time. I'll catch my breath. Stop. I found, I got the author's bottle. Oh, good. Oh, now what? That's, awesome. That's great. Open well, it. Yeah, no. Find your bottle, um... find your, in your truth. I mean, I might open mine. Okay, go ahead. Only have oh, you got one. Back. We have okay. I'll do what then yeah. and listen to the So in this hallway holding the bottle, you pop open They're yours. I'm I'm yeah. assuming the gold figures are not coming. No, that it looks like they've been distracted somewhere back there. Uh, you hear the skittering of something on stone, we'll say. Um go ahead and roll a D twenty and gain that much sanity. Oh, 18. Eight. Oh, great. Nice. I need it. Yes. As the bottle, oh. you hear this whisper. You, you are, are an, an echo, echo of, of yourself. yourself. An imitation, an imitation dragged, dragged from, from the, the end, end of the world. world. You are denying your Activate static protocol. That's it. Put the bottle down. All right. Um. What? How did you feel about listening to your bottle? <laughs> Let's not activate anything right now. Um, <laughs> what, kill everyone what here. Say, <laughs> what, did, what did it say? Well, everybody's truth is in their bottle. It's my truth, and I'll have to deal with it. Um, I mean, at least your bottle looks normal. Yeah. Where do we go? What do we... We've got the author's bottle... Do we just open it? Do we listen to it? We... Uh, you can try to open it, but... Can you open it? I'm going to... Yeah, open hell, it. I'm going to open it. You are straining <laughs> against it. Like at first, you're just like, ah, this will be easy. No. And then, yeah, you're straining at it. Not my no, bottle. No luck. Yeah, it's yeah. not your bottle. Not my I bottle. I think we just go forward in this hallway then. Yeah, because... I'll put the bottle in a bag. Or in the you know the bottle in a secure spot and yeah just... yeah well I would like to find a bed I'm just getting really tired so from a bed. The, from Abby's <laughs> message right find the hotel the labyrinth the author the bottle what's next should be the city yeah we I mean, have the bottle right just need a door well this hallway is going on for a long time right is do we see yeah. an end. No, you don't. It just kind of disappears into darkness. Then we just gotta keep going. Into the darkness, I should say. There we go. We into the darkness, yeah. Do we assume a door? Hey Can guys, we... wait up. <laughs> oh, uh -oh. are they behind us now? Uh yeah, yeah. They do eventually do that. And uh Voltus, go ahead and just give a quick dex uh dex check for me. Uh, uh, 53. What is my tax? Uh, 60. So just barely. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You're able to grab a couple of the little bugs that are falling uh, off, off the floor. Okay. So they are little. They're little. Yeah. They're, they're, they're about yay big. Okay. I mean, I don't um, know. Beetles. They're no Hercules beetles or whatever. They're, they're little. Uh, so I managed to distract them. Apparently, they like teeth. If you oh, they are missing all of their teeth, of course they would want them back. Yeah, remember when we were in that place with all the teeth? I I had a pocket full of teeth, so I threw it and they ran. So it's brilliant! Like the world is nope. full of funny paradoxes, don't you think? Yeah, I grabbed some of these beetles too because who knows? Maybe they'll somebody will want the beetles, and you throw the beetles, and they'll. Go after the bugs. I mean, Donnelly, I thought you always hated my father. Oh, yes. 
<laughs> Very much so. Then why did you take his bottle for him? Very strange. It's your father's bottle. Wait, your father's J.C. Linz? Just who are you, Nancy? He says she doesn't exist. So, I suppose the author is your father, since you are just a figment of their imagination, their will. He needs his bottle. Well, he, suck it. <laughs> he's not getting it. <laughs> I have it. And as long as I have it, he's not getting it. Wait, you're saying that J.C. Lenz is her father? I thought her father was agent. Her father is the author because Nancy Barnes never existed until the author created Nancy Build Barnes. Build it, yeah. Through you an know, idea. This place is kind of nuts, don't you she's think? A, she's a fucking tulpa. She's probably not right. even real. She's probably a, one of those mechanical clockwork. As soon as he says that, I'm just going to kind of uh, uh, leave, get some distance between me and Nancy. <laughs> and just, okay. Yeah, yes, Nancy, you don't away. feel like clockwork. For the record, they're <laughs> they're talking about this. and No. Do you listen? Listen. Do you hear the ticking part of a watch? No. No. Guys, I, I think we're all pretty stressed. Okay? Is Who that fair to say? That? Oh, Jeez. Whitworth? Yeah, Whitworth's. How the hell, Whitworth's you, what the hell are you doing here? I came in with these two. You he somehow seems have to cigarettes. have a perpetual cigarette. I don't know where he's getting them, but. Yes, uh, I would like you to share some. I, don't I couldn't <laughs> find mine. I think it's the same cigarette that's been in his hand for the last 12 I hours. I think you're right. This is. Uh... He just kind of throws it down the hallway. What the hell? I'm on my second candle, so we've been in here for quite a while. Well, I don't so, know if there's a candle. If we could find a door, or just make a door. Can you make a door? Yeah. It's, I mean, can you? Whitworth's Whit Whit just, you know, he's using his lantern down the thing. I mean, you can look, but I don't see a door around here. <sighs> It's a hallway, so there's there's walls on either side. Yeah. I mean, can we just what about we if we just look. draw a door or I just I'm gonna assume there's a door there and well uh oh, we still have those pickaxes, right? How about we hit the wall? We might be able to break through. Maybe. <clears throat> you could make a door shape with it. <clears throat> yeah, let's yeah, do that. Okay. There's a loud door, I'll help. Then okay. You're just try to smashing help. into this. Yeah, and it's like a kind of a brick tunnel. Are we tunnel supposed to break the, going. the author's bottle? I don't know if we're supposed to break it, but we hope. Um, and how long have we been going down this power. hallway? Uh, it's tough to say. Like, you're... Oh, wow, yeah, your candle's getting low and your lanterns. Yeah, let's get through this. Let's get out of here. Like, how is Gray's pocket watch going? Like, how does the pocket watch react? Um. Oh, good question. Um, it's kind of ticking closer to midnight and then back and then closer to midnight, then back. Like it's, uh, looping towards it. And yeah, is, is dense starting to hit the wall, right? You're, you see a brick yeah. kind of tumble out gray. You're, you've got your watch out. You're looking at it. It starts to slow a little bit like it's still doing the same thing but it's not quite mm -hmm. as fast i kind of show this to like especially to dent who's doing doing the doing that um you're affecting time somehow when you hit the wall i'll grab it keeps a, looping around midnight i'm gonna grab that pick i have another pickaxe and just we'll go through the door we'll make All it right. 
I'll keep watching his pocket watch has started. Yeah, and you're smashing into this. Voltus, Nancy, are you just kind of watching as they're going <laughs> this wall? I'm kind of watching, yeah. I'm also kind of bracing myself to run for my life if something <laughs> happens. Fair enough. Watching, watching, always, always mm -hmm. watching. Especially yeah, we're, with we're that Don Lee. <laughs> yeah. Gotta, Something about gotta that. Gotta keep like. watching. And you're probably the first to notice it because the other two are getting like brick dust gray too. You're near enough. You're getting this brick dust in your face. The other two though, you can start to smell <laughs> this cool air and ash coming through. And finally, the wall collapses outwards. And you can see that there is a ruined cityscape in front of you blackened buildings that have been bombed out of existence just the remnants uh it's very difficult to tell much about this place there's like uh iron banisters uh kind of bent and crumpled over there that gives you a a feel of like a, a cobblestone kind of city at one point but you World can't War help I, but notice uh <laughs> closer to world war one is kind of what your gut feel is but it's uh, uh both gray and voltus you have a pretty good history it's very difficult to place like it's kind of turkish it's kind of french it's what? kind of everything and it's all bombed to hell and there is right in front of you a big body of water that is still like and the stars in the sky are glinting a dark black. And I think that's where we'll leave it for tonight. So you have entered the final phase of this story. The city. We have found the city. Our players included Morgan Llewellyn, Alex Sun, Nell Hippel, Thomas Grooms, and myself with Nathan Decker as the handler. We have a Discord server where you can chat with other members. You can set up private games, and you can learn the finer arts of gameplay and game mastering. We provide audio-only versions of our shows free for you to download from Spotify, Podbean, or iTunes. Support for the show is provided by our patrons who are listed in the closing credits. If you'd like to join them, please visit our Patreon page listed in the description. Or if you want to give us a gift, uh, you can use the Super Thanks button uh, just below the screen. Like, share, and subscribe to our channel and punch the bell, uh, bell icon for updates on our latest shows and leave us some comments. We enjoy reading them and answer any questions you might have. This is Tom Rayleigh, together with all the members of our gaming club, inviting you to journey with us once again into the darkness for another adventure to the universe of HP Lovecraft and the Delta Green role-playing game. Until next time, good luck, good gaming. <laughs> <laughs>